South Carolina is known for its beauty and abundance. And one of the best places that depicts these characteristics is the Clayton Wall Farms. Come join me and we'll explore this place. This is the Rawls Colonial Home. Their success story began in 1948 when they started growing leafy greens and onions in Lexington, South Carolina. In 1982, the Clayton Royal Farms was formed. With me right now is the patriarch and the man behind the successful Clayton Royal Farms, no other than Mr. Clayton Royal. Sir, it is a great honor to have met you in person. Thank you. How many acres of land do you farm? 1,200 probably. Don't really know. Mm -hmm. Might be more. What crops do you have? We got uh, mostly baseball type stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. Just about everything. Most of the stuff that we sell, we grow. 90% of it we grow. How many workers do you have? About 100 right now. Mm -hmm. How long have you been in this industry? of uh, commercial farming oh let's see i'm i'm 79 now and i started farming when i was a uh, actually in my uh, early teens i guess uh well i i work for my dad i don't know if you call that me but i've been here pretty well well i've never had another job really mm -hmm. so that tells you <laughs> that shows how you love farming well, I didn't have time to look for a job. <laughs> it kept me so busy. I bet. <laughs> yeah. How many children you have? Three boys. Are they also in uh, this industry? Two out of three. What best agricultural practices would you like to share to the people? Well, the main thing that keeps us going is we very dependable. You know, we try to have all this stuff year-round. Mm -hmm. Try to. We can't have it all, but we, we probably do as good or better than anybody around. But anyway, uh, and they like quality. We, we try to do that. And we try to rotate our inventories all where it stays pretty well fresh all the time. Mm -hmm. But that's what keeps them coming back. Mm -hmm. And it's not the price altogether because uh, if they, too many people got cheap prices, they're going to get scared of it anyway. How do you market them? Well, we got a, a place on Highway 1 that does good. We got a place in Columbia at the farmer's market that does good, especially on the wholesale. Mm -hmm. The one at the number one highway is mostly retail. Mm -hmm. And if they want uh, to buy, you know, in volume, they can come down to the farm's office and they we'll sell them a, a truckload if they want it. Mm -hmm. We got truckers that come in here from out of state. They usually call and put their orders in first, and then uh, we try to have it ready. New York, wherever, New Jersey, <coughs> Florida. <laughs> we deliver a good bit of our stuff to the chain stores uh, in North Carolina, yeah. and even in uh, Atlanta, Georgia. Do you use modern technologies and equipment for farming? Yeah, but that were really what in my times my, my sons they used the gps system for planting and everything you have thrived in this business do you have any secrets that would like to share to anybody that wants to get into farming to be sure because exactly. right. it's pretty hard to get into farming exactly. and it's very easy to lose farming because one big uh freeze or one big uh heavy rain or something you, you lose you lose big time so I advise everybody to know what they're getting into. Mm -hmm. It's best not to plant everything in one particular area because if you have a hailstorm, you're going to lose it all. Mm -hmm. If you've got some planted in one area, some in another, chances are you're going to win on all of them except maybe that one, you know. It's like the saying, don't put all your eggs Ex in one basket. Exactly. Right? That's Thank you for your great role in farming that nourishes the people of uh, America and this country. Yeah, we, thank we thank you. I am standing in the middle of the Collard Greens Plantation of uh, Clayton Royal Farms. One of the uh, key crops of uh, this farm is Collard Greens, which grow year-round on 
450 acres and that is about 20% of the total land farmed. Yeah. Collards are the state vegetable of South Carolina and the South Carolina ranks second for production in the nation and it is growing 21% of the U.S. crop. Imagine, huh? On the other side of the road is a massive plantation of my favorite vegetable, green beans. Look how big this zucchini is. It's unbelievable. Wow, this is like finding gold in the ground. I'm a big fan of yellow squash too. This area here is for the different variety of lettuce. We move to another location. This one is the tomato plantation. It is vast, I'm telling you. What about fried green tomatoes? They are growing honey too. Look at the beehives and the bees warming around it. This section here is for the green onions or we call it scallions. And let's focus a little bit. Behind this plantation is the uh, irrigation. There are more activities going on in here. They're putting down the pipes for the irrigation. This farm worker is uh, spraying pesticide to ensure quality and growth. On the other side, it's the warehouse where they bring the harvest. The raw farms have a fleet of trucks and refrigerated trailers. Within 24 hours of the time, the collards are harvested and also other vegetables. They are already delivered to the supermarket chain distribution centers. This is the farm's packing station. This roadside stand is everyone's favorite place to get fresh vegetables and fruits. At everyone's delight, the Roll family is bringing freshness to the people's table. Francisco, the employee in charge of this stand, is busy every day serving the people. Let's check what they sell in here. Watermelon, cantaloupe, tomatoes, corns, bell pepper, onions, eggplant, Oh, I love corns too. Cabbage and lots and lots of peaches. Mmm. Berries, grapes, green beans, the squash, and of course the boiled peanuts. Like With me is Francisco, one of the farm workers of uh, Clayton Wall Farms. Sir, how long have you been working with this uh, family? I work for 13 years for this, this company. How is it working with these people? Good. It's, it's good guys. You like your job? Yeah, I like, I like this job. You started as what? Uh, I cut the greens, collard, turno, mustard green. Mm -hmm. All kind of products. And then now, what is your uh, occupation? Um, uh, I like everything. Uh huh. Yeah. You are now in charge of this uh, road uh, side stand. Yeah, I like this. Uh huh. How long have you been working in this kind of job? Oh, uh, this for the first time, uh, eight years. Eight years. Eight years. And you like this better than uh, doing the farm work? Mm -hmm. Same word, you know, uh -huh. hard, hard work. Like in a day, how many customers you have? Oh, a lot, a lot of customers. Uh -huh. yeah. Like, do you have an estimate of how much you earn a day from this all these uh, products you sell? Um, it's hard to tell. Yeah. I understand. Uh, I yeah. <laughs> Are these from the uh, farm? Yeah, all these products is locally grown. Oh, I, I think you have another customer in there. Thank you so much, Francisco. Okay. An author once said that. You may need a doctor, a lawyer, or a policeman once in your lifetime, but you need a farmer every day, three times a day. We are grateful that we have the Clayton Royal Farms that nourishes and impacts this country. This is Sonia Provido. Thanks for watching.